and welcome back to the channel. Obviously, we're here talking about capture cards and what I've got in the studio today is the 4K60 Pro from Elgato. So Elgato have sent me this capture card for 144 hertz pass through, um, which is what I really needed it for. So I was originally using the HD60 Pro, which was 1080p pass through, but it done only at 60 hertz. So my monitor is what I've got at my study is 165 hertz. So all I've got to do now is bring them down to 144 hertz and I'll be able to use the Elgato 60 Pro, or the 4K 60 Pro, I should say. Um, so the whole point of this is obviously trying to capture through a stream what's what I'm playing on my monitors um, through to my stream machine on to the 4K 60 Pro, allowing me to actually pass through that 144 hertz. So running a dual PC setup, so Elgato do have you covered here with the 4K 60 Pro. So running pass through, what will happen is you can get 1080p at 120 hertz or up to 240 hertz. You can get 1440p at 144 hertz, nothing higher than that. Um, or you can do 4K 60 at 60 hertz. Not many people are running 4K monitors gaming these days, so unless you've got a really baller machine. Um, but for me, I'm running at 144 hertz and this is gonna be the capture card for me to actually use. I know there's a few other capture cards out there, they can probably do the same thing, but I've got to say Elgato, we're, um, I was actually really grateful Elgato actually sent me the 4K60 Pro for me to try out, test it and um, see what it's all about. But guys, let's get stuck into it. So running through some of the specs that the 4K60 Pro actually has, which is a 1080p capture, has 2160p capture as well, which is 4K. Um, got your HDR10 capture as well, which is actually really good. It's got unlimited capture, so it does, has no file size um, limitations to it. So obviously, obviously when you're capturing or you're streaming as well, it won't, it won't take the files down. You've got instant game review. Um, you've got flashback recording as well. It, 1080p, obviously, as we stated before, 1080p can do up to 240 hertz. 1440p can do up to 144 hertz pass through. Um, it has multi-device support, which is actually fantastic, and multi-app support as well. The interface is PCIe times four and the max bit rate is 144 megabits per second. So here in the studio, because you guys can actually see what um, Elgato actually has in stock here, and also I've bought a few Elgato products myself. So I go from the Cam Link, got the HD60S, obviously which was both the USB, then you've got the HD60 Pro, which is PCI1, and then you've got obviously the new product here, which is the 4K60 Pro here, which is PCI4. Let's take a look at some of the software Elgato got to offer when you purchase your Elgato hardware for your PC. And once you're uploading it onto, example, a stream platform, you can capture using by using the game capture, which you can stream directly off it. Um, it is game capture HD. It does give you a few scenes to work with as well. You can record from the software. And looking at here, it actually has detected my 4K60 Pro. Um, you can select your live streaming service as well. The game audio, so you actually set the game audio to whatever you like. You've got your live commentary here, so you can actually obviously add um, a microphone to it. So there's no cam onto this, but you can obviously add microphone on here for your live commentary. You've got your sound card capture as well, and your tags when you do your gaming. Um, as you can see here, they've given you a few scenes to work with as well. So you can select a few scenes, obviously change your scenes during the stream. Hit the record button, and you've got your stream services here and your commentary as well. You can edit the files obviously you've downloaded or worked with as well. So whatever you've captured, you can actually you can actually do um, a few things on here as well. You can share it onto social media. So you've got YouTube, Twitter, you can email it, Apple TV, you've got your iPad, iPhone, uh, Movie Maker, and then you can set the file MP4 as well. The other software they've got here as well is the 4K Capture Utility. So this is a utility capture a utility, and it's really made for, for post, uh, what I think personally is more for um, post editing. So if you've, captured, if you've captured a game and you actually want to make up a video about it and you actually really want to push this onto social media, um, you can export it from here onto pretty much any editing software and be able to edit whatever you like out of it, which I really do like. Um, obviously, once you've captured it, you go to your library here and then you'll be able to export whatever you like from here as well. Um, you can select the formation, yeah, pretty much how you want it. It's a pretty, really, really good how um, Elgato have actually done this as well. Um, they've also got some other software on here. So you've got sound capture, you've got your stream deck and you've got control center as well. So Elgato have really made it eco-friendly for you guys. If you purchase any Elgato hardware, example with the key light, or the Elgato Stream Deck. Um, it's pretty much inbuilt with all the software you need for here. I might actually do a separate tutorial just on the software alone um, for you guys, because um, it will take a while to go through all of them. So using the HD60, um, so using the Capture HD, the 4K Capture Utility, the Sound Capture, the Stream Deck, um, setting up the Stream Deck, and then you've got the Control Center as well using the Key Light. 
So all that having here with Elgato, I'm actually, I can actually really say they've done really well here. It has been ongoing for a while for them now, and obviously a lot of um, updates have come through for the software for them. So they've done a really good job there, but we'll get more into that onto another video for Elgato and hopefully um, give you guys a bit more of an insight on how the actual software works. So what are my final thoughts on the 4K60 Pro? Well, for $400 for Australian, roughly around there, because prices do vary online, to be honest. Um, I've got to say, Elgato have done an absolutely fantastic job with this capture card. Obviously, there is a few other capture cards online you can actually see, um, but unfortunately, there's only one I've got here in the studio that I can actually compare to as well. So. What I can say compared to the old for, um, HD60 Pro as well, um, obviously the bar from the size difference and you know what it's actually capable of doing through pass through, which really what I needed it for. I've got to say, Elgato have done an absolutely great job with this one. But guys, what do you think in the in the comments below? Let us know there. Um, all our social media links will be in the description below, the description below as well. And let me know what you think of the 4K60 Pro. Is it one for you? Dual PC setup, single PC setup. Let us know in the comments below. But guys, thanks once again. Thanks, Algarve, for sending the 4K60 Pro. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.